Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube. My name is Tati Young. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on how I revived this um, deep wave hair. I've had this hair for about um, five months now. And um, I got it off of AliExpress. I got it from the vendor Cranberry. And it's Peruvian deep wave. And um, I actually got bundles and a closure or a lace frontal closure. And um, I got a... 18, 16, 14 inch, and a 12 inch closure. So, this hair is very stiff, very frizzy. It's like no bounce, no movement to it anymore. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to revive it today. So, first off, I'm going to start by um, taking a water bottle and I'm going to be um, just spritzing the hair um, just to get it a little bit wet. So that way I can do more with it. And I'm not going to get it soaking wet just yet. I'm just going to get it damp. That way I can brush it out. And... Okay. So let me get the back a little bit better. Okay, so once I do that, now I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to be taking this Tresemme conditioner, and it is Tresemme Flawless Curls uh, Curl Hydration Conditioner. So I'm going to be using this and putting it all throughout the hair. If I can get it out. <laughs> I'm just gonna open the lid. Okay, so first I'm just gonna um, be adding it to the hair. Okay, so once I do that, I'm just gonna be taking my paddle brush and I'm just gonna be brushing through the hair. Um, make sure when you brush through it, you start from the ends and work your way up. Now, if it seems like it's a little bit hard to brush through, um, you can add more water in it. Add a little bit more water in it, and that way it makes it a little bit easier to brush through. And as you can see, it's starting to come together already. Gonna spray a little bit more back here. Starting to come together already. Make sure you get the ends pretty good because the ends are usually the worst part of the hair when it starts to become a little bit older. And then I'm towards the front now, so I'm going to spray a little bit of water in the front. Once I 
do that, I actually go in in the back side of the hair because the back side gets nappy too. So I'm gonna go in back here. I'm gonna um, wet it some, spray it. Cause when you're reviving this, you do wanna make sure you get all of the hair. You don't wanna get just the top and then the, the underneath the hair still be nappy. Cause that's no good. I'm just getting underneath. And of course, underneath the hair, it seems like it always gets the nappiest. Alright. Almost done here now coming together okay I'm gonna use one more conditioner and like I swear by this conditioner right here this conditioner is so good it even works on my natural hair this conditioner is the Aussie three minute miracle moist deep conditioner and it says it's three times the moisture in three minutes and then it says it's made with Australian aloe Jehovah oil and sea kelp. This deep conditioner treatment transformed dry hair into silky, shiny waves in three short minutes. So I'm gonna be using this. This is probably actually the best conditioner that I probably have ever used. And every time I use conditioner, I have to use my Aussie conditioner. fingers through it now it's so shiny bouncy yes I really brought this wig back to life and just so you guys know um, I did actually make this wig by myself um, the color of it um, it does have like a bit of red orange highlights in it um, kind of like an ombre style um, the color I did do myself also if you guys um, want to know how I did the, the coloring to the wig um, you know just comment and let me know and if you have any questions about how I made the wig or anything like that if you have any questions about the hair um, just comment um, definitely like subscribe to my channel um, if you guys want any more videos about anything else you know, just let me know, and I got you. Um, so yeah, this concludes my video on how to revive deep wave hair. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.